Welcome to Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire for the final match of the Pro Series Random Draw Doubles Tournament. In this match, Jesse Jakes and Jeff Slazinski will be facing Evan Mazzaferro and Brian Purdy. Both teams have won four matches, and that's after getting through a five-string qualifying round and being paired up by Random Draw with their partners. And here's a look at how Jesse Jakes and Jeff Slazinski arrived at the finals. They uh, defeated Steve Legender and DJ Trask in the first round. And then an upset win over Craig Holbrook and Joe Rochelo in a match that you'll see later in the week. And in the semifinal, they defeated Rob Siciliano and Richie Myrick to arrive at the final against Brian Purdy and Evan Mazzaferro. Brian and Evan defeated Scott LaPierre and Chris Sacchetti, and then Mark Strangio and John Starner, as you can see, and then Jonathan Boudreau and Chris Bobert. So they had a pretty tough route to the final match. So in this match, it's it's one string. Each, uh, each bowler will bowl one string, and the combined scores for uh, Brian Purdy and Evan Mazzaferro versus... Uh, Jesse Jakes and Jeff Slazinski for the title. And to start off, Jesse will be on the left lane, lane 7, and Evan Mazzaferro on lane 8. Evan Mazzaferro with a light hit in the 1-2 pocket, dropping 6, and Jesse Jakes misses the head pin, takes out 4, and leaves a very difficult leave the four horsemen left side plus the nine and ten. And Evan with a nice try on that five, six, nine, ten, but he's still got the five and eight, so both bowlers will be open in the first box. Evan Mazzaferro qualified for match play by recording a 579 in the five string qualifying round. That was 54th in this tournament, the uh, the top 64 bowlers made the cut and were paired up by random draw with their doubles partners. Jesse Jakes had 575 in the qualifying. That was 57th. That's kind of unusual in this this particular match because all four of the finalists were well down in the qualifying field. As Evan Mazzaferro makes the spare. Brian Purdy qualified 47th with 580, and Jeff Slazinski qualified 33rd with 603. So none, none of the four guys were in the top 32, but they've all done well in match play, obviously, to win four matches. Evan Mazzaferro with the spare in the second box, and he drops nine on the spare, leaving the five pin. Jesse with an 8 drop, leaving the 3, 10. And a, another spare by Evan. Actually, I think that was a 3, 9, 10. I think that 9 pin was lurking back there. And Jesse punched the 3 pin back into it. And he'll take out a, he'll take a 9 in the third box. Evan Mazzaferro in the fourth. He drops 7 on the spare. So he has 45 after three, and he is quickly out to a 20-pin lead over Jesse Jakes. Evan is looking at the 3-6-10 combination. And he slides by the three-pin, just taking out the 6-10. And Jesse wasn't able to convert that 3-6-9 spare, so they'll both be open in the fourth. That'll be nine box for each bowler. Still a 20 pin lead, 54 to 34 through four boxes for Evan Mazzaferro. Evan misses the head pin, but gets a pretty good lead. The 1-2-4, another three pinner. And Jesse with a, well, it's a nine drop after a fashion. He has the 10-pin with a plank, and it, it's pretty uh, 
It's a little bit early to say that it's a, an important spare, but I would say this is an important spare for Jesse. Evan runs down the one, two, four, so he's got three spares in his first half. And Jesse with the spare as well. So Evan Mazzaferro has 64 with a ball, as you can see on the on the score sheet. Jesse with 44 with a spare up. So they'll turn it over to Brian Purdy and Jeff Slazinski. Brian Purdy is probably no stranger to Pro Series fans because he has uh, been in the winner's circle before. And he throws a nice ball in the one-two pocket but leaves a five-seven split. Jeff Slazinski drops nine. He's got the seven pin with some wood that should guide the ball over there. Pretty straightforward spare, and he's got it. Brian Purdy with a nine box. And Brian is on the head pin once again, but again he has a split three, six, seven, ten. Jeff Slazinski with a seven drop. He's got the one, two, and seven. And Brian with a nice bid on that three, six, seven, ten. But he just didn't cut the three pin thin enough to convert the seven pin. So they'll both be open in the second. Brian Purdy with a ten box. Jeff Slazinski with an eight. Jeff has trimmed six pins off that 20 pin lead. Brian Purdy with a six drop in the third, leaving one, two, seven, and ten. And Jeff Slazinski with a solid one, two pocket hit, leaving the 10 pin. And Brian, a little bit too full on the head pin, just took out the one and two. Jeff misses that 10 pin. That was kind of an important opportunity there that goes by the boards. Brian will take a 9 in the third. As will Jeff. Jeff Slazinski made a nice run last month, as you'll recall, in the Ultimate Ladder Tournament, which was the opening event of the 2012-2013 Pro Series schedule. Jeff is a relative newcomer to the Pro Series, but he is a regular on the Western New England Tour. He bowls out of Canal Lanes in Southampton. Brian Purdy is from Maine, and he's no stranger to bowling fans in the state of Maine. And there is a great spare by Jeff Lezinski. He converts the half Worcester. Started to say Brian Purdy is one of the best bowlers in Maine. Let's take another look at this spare by Jeff Slazinski as he perfectly converts this half Worcester. And that's the four pin that goes off, comes off the wall and rolls into the five. Great spare there by Jeff. Very timely against the eight box by Brian Purdy, so he will. And Brian with a nice ball in the one three pocket, but just five. And also a five box for, or a five drop for Jeff Lazinski on the spare. Let's see what Brian Purdy can do with this four, seven, eight, nine, ten, couple pieces of wood. And he's got it. That's a great shot by Brian Purdy. Utilizing the wood to cover that triangle in the corner and go and get the nine and ten. And I think that second wood didn't come into play at all. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll take a look at it on replay in just a minute. Jeff with an 8 box. He's got 57 through 5. And here's another look at it. And you will see that that second wood doesn't really come into play, but it's a great shot by Brian Purdy in any case. 
Right now it is a, well, it's a nine pin lead for uh, Evan and Brian, but uh, they've also got two marks versus one for uh, Jesse and Jeff. Jesse Jake's working on the spare. In the fifth, he drops six, leaving the four horsemen one, two, four, seven. Evan Mezzaferro also working on a spare. He also misses the head pin to the right, but drops seven. He's got one, nine, and ten. Piece of wood behind the head pin that might help. And there's a spare by Jesse. He goes to the outside of the head pin. Takes the one, two, four, seven. And Evan with a nice bid on that one, nine, ten. Very difficult shot. I think the head pin went right in between the nine and ten. So Evan will have an open in the sixth. And it'll be an eight box. Let's have another look at the four horseman conversion by Jesse Jakes. He goes to the right side, drills that head pin over into the two, four, seven. So he's got a spare in the sixth and an opportunity to cut further into the lead. And he drops seven. He's got 67 through six to 79 for Evan Mazzaferro. Evan misses a head pin, drops five. One, two, four, six, ten remaining. And Jesse punches the three pin straight back. And Evan hits the head pin also too full. So they'll both be open. Jesse with an eight box in the seventh, 75 through seven. Evan Maz also with an 8 in the 7th. He's got 87 through the 7th. Jesse leaves, once again leaves that 1, 2, 4, 7 that he just converted a minute ago. Let's see if he can do it again. And again he's on the head pin but this time too full punches it straight back, so he still has the 247. Evan Mezzaferro throws the same ball that he just threw, so he'll be open in the eighth. He'll be trying for an out. He's still got the one, three, four, six, and seven remaining. He needs an out. Now it's a pretty good out. He's got an eight box. So right now Evan is leading Jesse by 11, and given that Jeff Sosinski is leading Brian Purdy by 11, that means it's it's really essentially a tie match, except that Brian has has that spare to fill in the fifth. And Jesse Jakes with the. Seven drop three five six triangle and he gets just the six. So he'll have an open. And Evan goes by the head pin. He will also be open in the ninth. That's ten box for Jesse. He's got ninety four through nine. Close match like this, every pin is important. It's really important to pick your pins at the end. And Evan does that with a 10. So one more box for Jesse Jakes and Evan Mazzaferro in this random draw doubles event. Jesse with a very light head pin hit. He drops seven, but he has a very difficult split. Four, seven, and 10. Piece of wood in front of the seven pin that might help him if he could clip the, the uh, right side of the four and send it into that wood. It could come off the wall. And it looks like, it looks like that's what he was trying to do, and it almost worked. He almost was able to get something to go over and get the 10, but not quite. So he'll be open in the 10th. Evan also with a split, and he gave it a good try, trying to cut that two pin over into the 10. 
but he didn't quite catch it. So Jesse Jakes with a 9 in the 10th. He'll have a 103 game. Evan Mazzaferro with an, also with a 9 box, 114. So coming down to the last five boxes, it is a tie match right now. Eleven pins uh, in each direction. But Brian Purdy is going to untie it with the spare fill that he adds on lane seven. Jeff Slazinski on lane eight. Jeff with a half Worcester right side. So Brian Purdy's team will lead by whatever he gets on this ball, and it's going to be seven. Seven pin lead, and he has the two, four, ten, with a nice piece of wood behind the two pin that might help him. And Jeff Slazinski trying to convert that half Worcester for the second time. Gives it a good try, but that's a pretty tough spare to make, as you know. Nice shot by Brian Purdy. Utilizing that wood behind the two pin to convert the spare. And let's take a, another look at it. You can see here that he hits pretty full on the two pin and that wood goes right over into the ten spare in the sixth. Well, Jeff had an eight box. Jeff with a nice ball in the one three pocket dropping seven. He's got the five eight nine triangle. Brian Purdy punches through the middle, but gets a nice little break coming back. Looked like a spread eagle, but he got something to push the 4 and 7. And nice bid by Jeff Slazinski, but he's a little bit too light on the 5 pin. And that goes for Brian Purdy. I think the ball flew back out of the pit and took down the 10 pin. We'll take a look at a replay in just a moment. You can see here the ball kicks that wood over into the uh, three and six, and I think it comes. I think that's the ball that comes back to take the ten pin. In any case, that's three spares in a row for Brian Purdy, and that puts him in the driver's seat. Jeff Szczynski is really going to have to go go some. That's a four. This time it is a spread eagle for. Brian Purdy. Pretty much the same ball he just threw, except that he doesn't get the backdoor action this time. And Jeff Slazinski will be open in the eighth, as will Brian Purdy, who punches off the three pin. Jeff needs some pin count here, and he's got a nine box. Good, did a good job to get nine out of that. He will pick up one pin, so it is right now, let's see, 8 plus 11. It's a 19-pin lead right now for Brian Purdy and Evan Mazzaferro. Meaning that Jeff Slazinski has to get two enormous marks here in the last two boxes and hope that Brian Purdy stays quiet. And Brian is not likely to do that. He's really got it dialed in in match play. He threw a triple strike to win, uh, I think it was the semi-final match. I didn't have the camera on that one, but uh, he threw a triple in their win over Rob Siciliano and Richie Myrick. Or, no, I think I have that wrong. I think it was uh, Jeff and Jesse that, that beat uh, Robin Rich. But in any case, Brian threw a triple in the previous match to pull out the win. So now it's a 20 pin lead with one box to go. So that means that Jeff Slazinski probably could use uh, at least two strikes, maybe three here. Otherwise, Brian Purdy and Evan Mazzaferro are going to be the winners of this Pro Series Random Draw Doubles event. And that's a nine drop for Jeff, but uh, he needed more than that. So. Brian can sew up the win just by keeping it on the lane right here, and he does that. So Brian Purdy and Evan Mazzaferro will be the winners of the Pro Series Random Draw Doubles event here at Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire. Spare by Jeff Slazinski in the 10th. And a nice try right there by Brian Purdy to make a spare. So he will finish out. 
Brian with a 10 box, and that gives him a 111. And as Jeff finishes, fills that spare with a 9 drop, Evan Mazzaferro and Brian Purdy are the, are the champions in this event as they accept the congratulations from the, uh, their opponents and, and the other bowlers in attendance. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. You can see those three spares by Brian Purdy towards the end of the, in uh, 5, 6, and 7 were the difference in this match right there. Uh, it was a tie match until Brian put those spares together. So it's an 11 pin win for Brian Purdy and Evan Mazzaferro, 225 to 214. Coming up next month, the, uh, an event that's going to be a lot of fun. The kids and the pros will uh, join forces for a doubles tournament at Lido Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire, Sunday, October 7th at 10 a.m., and we will see you there.